Are you interested in multi-streaming but have no idea how to manage all these alerts? Lucky for you, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage all your alerts from all your different platforms like Twitch, Kick, YouTube, you name it, all in one nice little location so you can manage all of your different alerts when you're multi-streaming. If that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on the video so other streamers can find this video. Otherwise, let's head out faster than my dad did. In order to do this, we're going to be using this free pain in the butt tool called Botrix, which I'll conveniently leave located in the description down below for y'all. And if for whatever reason it gets put on Spanish, just go in the top right corner and change it to whatever language you need it to be in. For whatever reason, it just does that. I don't know. That's why I call it a pain in the butt. But in order to take advantage of the multi-stream alerts, we're going to have to log in with one of these options here. So chances are, if you're multi-streaming, you're either going to be multi-streaming on Twitch or YouTube. So you can feel free to log in with one of these. It doesn't really matter because we're going to connect all of the other profiles later. So just pick one of these two to begin with, and then I'll see you on the inside. So I decided to log in with my Twitch account first, and it should bring you to the profile tab on the side and if it doesn't just simply go to the left hand side and click on the profile option and you'll be brought to all of your different platforms here so this is the page that we'll be linking all of our different accounts that we want to handle the alerts for when we're multi-streaming so since we've already linked our twitch account we don't have to worry about linking twitch but now let's say i wanted to multi-stream to youtube and kick since that seems to be the majority of what people want to do the linking process is a little more confusing than i'd like it to be so that's why i'm going to hold your hand we're going to start with youtube and then i'm going to link my kick because the trifecta seems to be Twitch kick and YouTube. So we'll just focus on that for now. But you can feel free to mess with these other options too, if you'd like, because it'll be the same process later. But since it is confusing, I recommend you don't skip around and just follow step by step because you might make one mistake that will mess up all of your alerts. And I really don't want you guys to have to deal with that. So we'll start with the YouTube option. So I'm going to click sign in with YouTube and then prompt which account to sign in with. So I'm going to pick the Google account that's associated with the YouTube account that I want to start streaming from. So I'm going to click on that one. Then I'm going to click on continue. And linking our YouTube is as simple as that. So then we can move on to the kick portion. I'm going to log in with kick. So click sign in with kick. It's going to ask for our username. So for your username, if you have spaces in it, like let's say see pause space music, if you try to accept that, it's not going to let you, which means that you're going to have to likely use an underscore. In rare cases, it might be a dash, but for majority of you guys, I'd recommend using the underscore if you have a space in your name. For this video, I'm going to use my alternate account. So that doesn't have any spaces. So I'm just going to simply go and put my my username in and then click on accept. From here, we need to give the moderator role to Botrix to continue. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hit the continue button. It's gonna bring us to our kick creator dashboard moderators page. As you can see, I've already done it here. So I'll remove it for you guys. I'll click add new. We're gonna simply type in the word Botrix and click on the verified bot, the one with the little icon next to it. And then we're gonna hit add. And then that will have us allowed Botrix, the moderator roles in order to get the access that it needs to get. I could have said that a lot better, but I'm only gonna record this once. <laughs> so once you've added Botrix as a moderator, let's head over back to Botrix. So now that we're on this part here, please do not go ahead and just click finish. You cannot do that. You're gonna wanna hover over this, highlight it, and unfortunately, for whatever reason, it won't let me highlight it. And like, as soon as I let go, it's gonna unhighlight it like there, which is super annoying, which is why I don't like this process. So if this happens to you, click, drag, and do not let go of your mouse. And so I'm still holding down the mouse click, right? And I'm gonna hit Control C, and that way it's gonna copy it to my clipboard. And so instead of clicking finish, don't do that. You're gonna click on this link here, but if you already messed it up, you can either unlink and relink and get back to here, or you can simply just go to kick.com forward slash Botrix, which will bring you to Botrix's chat room where everyone else is linking their accounts. So if you see other people like this, that's totally normal. You're fine, don't worry about it. We're just gonna paste in that exclamation point link command, and that's going to link Botrix to our kick page in order to access the different alerts. So now that we have sent it, it says that your account has been successfully linked, so we can go back to Botrix. So once you've successfully linked Kick and Botrix together, we can simply hit the green finish button. And now we have our trifecta. We have our Twitch, we have our YouTube, and we have our Kick. So we have all of these three things here, which is great. Now you might think that you're in the clear and I don't blame you for thinking so. However, I must bring this up because YouTube is notorious for having a bunch of issues in terms of connecting the Botrix box to YouTube. So much so that they actually have an entire FAQ, which I'll bring up right now. It's a lot more complicated than it needs to be. And if you're experiencing any issues with your YouTube alerts popping up with Botrix, I'm gonna leave this article linked down below this video. There's a lot 
lot of things that you really have to make sure that you're aware of. Like for example, you need to make sure that your streams are on public. The first time that you do it, it can take up to 60 minutes before it actually works. Also, there's a chat delay sometimes that the alerts will pop up only if the subscribers have the setting enabled for public subscriptions. And there's just a bunch of different nuances with the YouTube portion of this. So instead of spending a half hour going through all of this, I'm gonna leave this link down below the video in case you guys run into any issues when it comes to YouTube. And if you do, please just know that you are not alone on this and we're all struggling with the same thing and instead of yelling in the comments i'm going to also leave botrix's discord linked in the description down below where you can personally ask the moderators to check on their end as well as any issues or questions you may have because it'll be a lot more beneficial for you to post there instead of in the comments so sorry for that little rant but i know it's going to come up so now that we've gone over the reasons why i truly do not like botrix but it is a good option for multi-stream alerts let me explain how to actually set up and edit your alerts so as you notice we are on the profile page right and if you notice, we have Twitch selected as our main platform. So if we look in the top left corner, it says platform is Twitch. That means that anytime I go to click on the alerts tab, it's only going to bring up our Twitch alerts, which is cool, right? Because then we can go and make sure that each of our different alerts are set up properly. However, let's say that you wanted to change your YouTube alerts, right? Well, in that case, you'll have to go to profile and then you see this green little settings button here. As soon as I hit that, the platform's going to change to YouTube. So I hit green settings under YouTube. It's going to refresh. And now it says our platform is now YouTube. So if we then click alerts, it's going to customize our YouTube alerts. That's honestly really nice to be able to manage everything. And you can honestly do the same exact thing with kick as well. Let's just do kick for now. So if we go to profile and we go down to kick, we're going to edit our kick settings. So we do the little green button next to kick that says settings. We'll go up to the top left corner. Platform is kick. So we're going to edit our kick alerts. And then you'll be able to see all of your different alert options here. And the cool thing about using Botrix for the multi-stream alerts is that you can theoretically have one alert box for all of these different platforms. So that way you don't have to go and have different ones, but also now, which I'll cover on in a minute, you can actually separate your alerts into different platforms in case you wanna have them on different portions of your screen. So I'll show you how to do that later. Anyways, if you wanted to customize, let's say a kick follow alert, we're going to go to the followers. And since our platform is kick, that means kick followers. Get it, right? Makes sense. So we're under our followers tab. We have a bunch of different options. So the first option is whether the alert is actually active or not. So if this is, you know, grayed out, that means that the alert will not actually play and it is not active. So if you make any of those changes and let's say you don't want kick follower alerts, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but let's say you don't, you go down and hit save settings and it's going to save all of your settings. So that way, if we have our alert box, then it's not gonna play kick followers. If you just wanted to go and like, let's say you didn't want kick raids or, you know, kicks. Kicks aren't even out yet as of recording this video. That's supposed to be like the bits equivalent to kick uh, that Twitch has, but these aren't out yet. So, I mean, you could leave it on. They're not gonna trigger anything. You could leave them off. It's really up to you. We wanna, let's say, customize our kick followers. Then we can go and make sure this is enabled to make sure it's activated, right? Then you can change all of your customization settings here. So you can change the style, you can change uh, the like layout. So is it gonna be text on the bottom, text over the picture? How long is the alert gonna last for? All of these different things you can customize, including the image and sound. So for the image and sound, you have a couple different options. So if you click the blue button next to image or sound, it's gonna bring up their image gallery. So that way you can actually just pick from them and it's powered by Giphy. So let's say we wanted to have like a SpongeBob alert and we'll hit SpongeBob and we'll search. So let's go with this one. That one looks a little erotic. So we'll click that one. And then you can also do the same thing with sound. So that way you can just go and search for different sounds here. Let's go with SpongeBob again, why not? And there's not gonna be a ton of them. Let's just go with uh, that one. And then so you can preview it by clicking and holding down the sound. That way you'll be able to listen to it. And then you can hit choose. Now, if you wanted to upload your own sounds or images, you can click this little green button and that way you'll be able to import the files that you might get. Now, a lot of you guys are asking, where the heck do I even get images or sounds? And that's a great question. You can honestly grab them from YouTube. You can grab them just from a Google search. You can buy them. You can also get them from own.tv. They have different alerts with the graphics and the sounds if you want to get them that way. So I'll leave a couple different options in the description down below in case you want to go that route. Also, sometimes when you upload your own custom images and sounds, they may not work. And that could be because the file size is weird 
or the type is not the correct type. So if you run into any of those issues, that's also a great question to post in the Botrix Discord because they'll be able to tell you what to fix. You can also change how loud the alert happens, the text color, all this other stuff is very self-explanatory. You can change what text appears when you actually trigger the alert. So let's just save these settings so you get an idea of what's happening here. And now we have to get to the fun part, right? And that's actually plugging in the alert box into our streaming software. So OBS or Streamlabs, whatever you choose to use, we're gonna open up our streaming software, which means that if you're streaming from like an Xbox or like a PlayStation directly, you're not gonna be able to use any of this because you need to stream from a streaming software like OBS or Streamlabs in order to take advantage of the multi-stream alerts. So we're gonna go to the top where it says widget URL and make sure, by the way, you did click save settings. Otherwise your settings are obviously not gonna save. So now we need to copy that widget URL at the top, but now after a recent update, they have an advanced settings button here and if you remember earlier this is where I was saying if you wanted to separate your different platforms into different alert boxes you could use this option right here so if you wanted to just have let's say uh, I don't know let's go with twitch you could have just twitch and then if you want to have just your twitch subs then you could turn off all these then if I were to hit copy this URL would just be alert box for twitch subs and gift subs but if you wanted to have it for literally everything and you don't want to have to worry about like moving different alert boxes in different locations and stuff like that. Then you can just have everything toggled here. And this one widget URL will cover all of your different multi-stream alerts. But if you wanted to separate them, so like just have your kick ones over on the right side of the screen and then your Twitch ones on the left side of the screen and YouTube at the bottom or something weird like that, then that's when you would go and customize these options to be able to give you that freedom to customize it how you want. So if you want to do that, you can. But for this video, we're going to keep it super duper simple and just simply hit copy. And so once that link has been copied, we can go into our streaming software. So once you've opened up your streaming software, this is what mine looks like. This is just OBS Studio. You could also use Streamlabs, up to you. You're simply gonna add a new source. You're gonna add a new browser source. And for this, we can call it multi-stream alerts. Hit okay. And then for this URL portion right here, you're gonna hit control V to paste that in or however you wanna do that. And then you'll simply hit okay. So now this box right here is where all of your multi-stream alerts are going to be coming from. So in order to test that, I'm going to bring up both of these side by side so you can get a better idea of what's going on. So now that we have them side by side, we can X out of the advanced settings here. And just so you know, by default, I'm pretty sure all of these alerts are on. So if I go and test a YouTube alert, the default one that they have set up in Botrix will be on. So you're going to want to make sure that you go through the profile. So let's say if you want to go to Twitch and you wanted to make sure that you customized or, you know, turned off the default one, go to Twitch and then you go to alerts and you'll go to, let's say, Twitch followers. You can either turn it on or off, but I'm just saying that all of these are on by default. So if you don't want them on by default, then you can go and turn them on or off as you please. So now the fun part, and that's actually like testing these to make sure that they work. So right now we're under the Twitch platform and we have our followers alert, which is on. We never customized this. So there's just gonna be a weird default one that Botrix has already provided for us. So when we're ready to preview our alert, we're simply just gonna hit this green followers button here. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna trigger the alert on what it's gonna happen when you get a new Twitch follower. And you can do the same exact thing for all the other options as well. Like if you get a Twitch sub, obviously if you're not a Twitch affiliate without a sub button, then you're not gonna be able to trigger this alert because you don't have Twitch subs unlocked. But let's say you wanna do a raid instead because anybody can get raided. So if we click the raid button, give it a second, that's what's gonna play when someone raids your stream. But now you're probably like, okay, Cody, well, that's fine. That's how Twitch works, right? Well, let me show you if we go to profile and then we go to, let's say YouTube, YouTube settings. Our platform is now YouTube, we'll go to alerts. And then let's say we wanna test what happens when we get a YouTube subscription. Well, we're under YouTube, YouTube subscription, it's on. This is the default one that we haven't customized yet. So we'll click that YouTube subscription. And this is what's gonna play anytime someone subs to your channel on YouTube. Same exact thing for kick since with that little alert box source that we posted earlier, that little URL option, we provided all of the different alerts to be in this one alert box. So if we do a kick follower right there, we'll test a follower. So that's that SpongeBob one that we did earlier. And you can see that all of our settings have been saved and everything is good to go. Now, for whatever reason, you're having audio issues where either you can't hear it or your stream cannot hear it. This is when you're gonna want to double click on your browser source. So the whatever you added, like we called this one multi-stream alerts, that browser source URL, you'll go in here 
And then whether you're in Streamlabs, it'll be called something else. I think it's custom audio in Streamlabs. For OBS, I believe it's control audio via OBS. So as soon as we hit OK, you're going to notice that there's going to be a new audio mixer bar that pops up here because that will allow us to actually see the audio that happens when we actually go and play the alerts. So we'll have control audio via OBS or custom audio in Streamlabs and hit OK. Now we have a multi-stream alerts audio bar. So I'm going to run that kick follower again and pay attention to this little bar in the bottom right here. So I play it. And now you can see that it played the alert and it played the little sound, but I actually didn't hear it on my end. So if that happens to you, you're gonna click these three little dots under that little multi-stream alerts audio mixer. And then you're gonna go to advanced audio properties. I know it can be a little scary because it's advanced, but it's, it's not that hard, trust me. And then you'll go to the multi-stream alerts because you can see all of our different audio mixer bars here. And so we're gonna go to audio monitoring for that multi-stream alerts option and change it from monitor off to monitor and output. And basically what these three options are is that if you choose monitor off, monitoring is how we're going to hear it. So if you wanna monitor it, that means you wanna hear it in your ears. If you wanna output it, you wanna output it to your viewers so they can hear it as well. So if I wanna hear it and I want my viewers to hear it, then we're gonna choose both of the options, which is monitor and output. So we'll simply hit that and then we'll hit close. And now we're gonna run it one more time. So I'm gonna hit run followers and now you'll be able to see the little bar go up for my viewers. And then I also just heard it through my computer speakers as well. And like I said, if you wanted to separate your different alert boxes, so if you wanted to have one for kick on the left side or one for Twitch on the right side, or even just one for kick subs on the left and one for kick followers on the right, you just go to the advanced settings option here. You'll be able to toggle onto these on and off, copy the new URL, and you just add it as another browser source inside OBS or Streamlabs. And like I said, if you guys run into any issues whatsoever, go post in the BotRigs Discord. They'll be able to answer your questions much faster and better than I can because they made the damn thing. And I just wanted to thank Cut Labs for sponsoring today's video because if you're a streamer, you know how tiresome it is to go and create vertical style formats from your past broadcasts. And that's where Cut Labs comes into play because simply all you have to do is paste in your old past broadcast, whether that be a Twitch stream or a YouTube video, you're gonna paste in that URL and hit get clips and the AI is automatically going to go through up to a 12 hour past broadcast and clip out different moments that you can post to your socials such as YouTube, Instagram Reels, TikToks and all of the work is done for you. The AI is specifically trained for gaming to find headshots, kills and epic moments that happens within your stream. So you'll simply provide your email address that will let you know when the clips are done and it'll spit out a bunch of different vertical style clips that it will automatically create and if you like that, you simply download it and upload it. But you can also click on the edit button and you'll be able to fine tune a bunch of the different options here. And my favorite part about it is that it comes with auto captions because captions are so important when it comes to short form content. So if you wanna save hours of time creating content, then check out Cut Labs. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. And then continue watching my multi-streaming playlist. It tells you everything that you need to know about multi-streaming. So give it a watch. My name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.